Hello, and welcome to our talk on neural shift diffusion, a topological perspective on heterophily and oversmoothing in graph neural networks. My name is Christian, and this is joint work with Francesco Di Giovanni, Ben Chamberlain, Pietro Lia, and Michael Bronstein. The heat diffusion equation is a partial differential equation describing the spreading of, of heat on a graph. The well-known graph convolutional network, or GCN, proposed by Keith and Welling, can be seen as a nonlinear, parametric, and time discretized version of this diffusion process. Perhaps surprisingly, despite the introduction of a weight matrix and the nonlinearity, GCN still retains some of the qualitative behavior of heat diffusion. Similarly to how temperatures become uniform during heat diffusion, it was observed that with more GCN layers, the features become increasingly smooth, a problem known today as oversmoothing. This problem can be particularly relevant if the graph is heterophilic, meaning that nodes in one class tend to connect to nodes in other classes. In this work, we argue that the trivial underlying geometry of the graph is to blame. To make the word geometry precise, we resort to cellular shift theory, a subfield of algebraic topology. Given a graph, a cellular shift attaches a vector space to each node, a vector space to each edge, and the linear map between these spaces for each incident node edge pair. These constructions augment the graph structure with additional semantics that not only describe that two nodes are connected, but also describe how features should be moved from, from one node to another. By making use of these linear maps, we can construct a shift Laplacian, a generalization of the graph Laplacian. Unlike the graph Laplacian, this is a block matrix, meaning that the entry corresponding to two nodes, say V and U, is a matrix describing how the features between V and U should be transported. Using the diagonal blocks of this matrix, we can also obtain a normalized shift Laplacian by following a similar algebraic procedure as for the normalized graph Laplacian. Our aim is to study the heat diffusion equation on sheaves, also known as sheave diffusion. More specifically, we're interested in what sort of sheaves can linearly separate the node classes of the graph in the infinite time length. Because the sheave diffusion process behaves like a projection of the initial conditions in the kernel of the Laplacian, we first study when this kernel is non-trivial. We show that when the linear maps are orthogonal, if the transport of the features between any two nodes is independent of the chasm path between them, the kernel is non-trivial. Based on the properties of the shift Laplacian kernel, we show that any node classification problem can be reduced to finding the right shift. In other words, there always exists a shift that can linearly separate the classes in the infinite time limit of its diffusion process, as shown in this figure. Furthermore, we show that simple heat diffusion on a weighted graph struggles in heterophilic settings. Similarly to how GCN is built from a heat diffusion process, we can follow a similar recipe to obtain shift convolutional networks, a model originally proposed by Hansen and Gebhardt. In our work, we prove that shift convolutional networks have greater control over their asymptotic behavior than GCNs. Motivated by these theoretical results, in practice, we aim to learn sheaves from data as a function of the features. In contrast to prior work, which only used a fixed handcrafted sheaf, our work makes sheaf neural networks applicable to any graph setting, even in the absence of a natural sheaf structure for the task to be solved. Overall, we consider a new nonlinear sheaf diffusion process where the sheaf also evolves over time. This allows the model to make use of the latest available features to construct a suitable geometry for solving the task. This introduces a new paradigm in graph representation learning, where the features are concomitantly evolved with the graph geometry. Finally, we show that our models obtain state-of-the-art results in heterophilic node classification tasks, while also showing strong performance in homophilic benchmarks. I hope you enjoyed our talk. Obviously, we have skipped many details in this presentation. So if you'd like to find out more, come chat with us. Thank you for your attention.